Let us pray. Two, three. Dearly beloved, mask it and glove it, that we have gathered here today. Clearly your loved friends, you are dubbed with mascot from family serve a day. We're here at Dear Queer for a show. Aubrey, and I am here on Xanadu. Welcome to the concert. Oh my goodness. I am one of many hosts. Uh, so let's go see if we can find other hosts. Oh, <laughs> someone's coming a little bit late, but that's going to be fine. I'm sure they have an incredible title. Oh my goodness. Oh, I love this apron on you, whoever you are, kangaroo. I cannot move, and uh, it's really exciting. Hey, everybody in the chat. Thank you so much for being here. Uh, we are really excited uh, to do the... This is the first time I've ever streamed a show from Animal Crossing. Oh, okay, no one's coming. So this is beautiful Xanadu, and... Uh, my name is Aubrey. I'm looking for my sibling, I think. Oh, wait, everyone, do you see them? Can you see a laser? Oh, laser, I found you. <laughs> hey, laser, we can't hear you. Are you talking? Oh, hi. Sorry, I, I forgot that I could talk. Can you hear me now? Yes, it's me. It's laser, Aubrey. We're just having so much fun here on Xanadu. We're going to have a great concert today. Yes. But it's not just the two of us, is it, Aubrey? No, it is not. Let's go find other people. Okay, cool. We are having a very special, uh, very first ever Dear Queer Concert Hour here on the beautiful Xanadu Island. Oh, here is a transcribed garden, isn't it? It's so pretty. I love all the flags here. It's just a gorgeous island, and it's fall here. We are on the southern hemisphere. We have traveled quite a long way. We have, but we're all together. Okay, now let's go find our uh, our other act for the show. Where where might they be, Aubrey? I think they are this direction. Okay. Hello, is anybody else here on Xanadu Hello. wanting to do a show with us? Uh, yeah, how about you? Oh, okay. oh, I hear where someone. Are where are they? I'm trying to I'm trying to net trying to get another person to come to our show, and it won't get in my net. Hmm. Oh, oh. Okay, I, when you said- Are you guys, are you near the bodega? Hello. Yeah. <gasps> oh, I found somebody. Aubrey, come down here. Okay, oh, yay. <laughs> it's an, it's an astronaut trying to capture a, a person in, uh, without skin on half their body. Hello, friends. Hello, Hello. everyone, Hello. Molly Lewis. Welcome. Yay. Did, did I hear that it's the Dear Queer Concert Hour? Also, we in a, we did not plan this. We're kind of the transplant pride uh, flag colors right now. Yay, we did oh it. Gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh, thank goodness. Okay. Now, uh, there may be a little bit of competition because there's another streamer on the island right here. Oh, oh. no. Oh, no. I'm oh, sorry, no. CJ. I'm so sorry. Get out. This is our turf. Hopefully enough internet for all of us. All right. I love how well this island is uh, labeled for the show. It's very amazing. Aubrey, so, do you need uh, me to do anything about CJ? Do you need me to? Do you need me uh, to? No, oh, laser, oh. laser oh. the X. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, I tried to create a distraction, but we should probably go in peace to okay. make our music. I'm gonna. Go All right, let's see. There's a sign that says "Dear Queer" is this way, so let's go give it a shot and see if we can find uh, the person who invited us to do a show. Road, all the way up. 
Here we go. <gasps> Look who it is. It's Jules. Jules. Hi, Jules. Talk to us. Hello. Oh, Jules? hi. Oh, hi, Jules. Hi, everybody. Oh. Thanks so much for coming. Absolutely. Thank you so much for inviting us to Dear Queer. Tell us about uh, about Dear Queer and Xanadu, this wonderful island you invited <laughs> us to. Um, well, this is my first time playing Animal Crossing. This is my uh, first island, um, as that's and true for everybody <laughs> playing New Horizons. Yeah. Um, and I decided to make a queer bookshop and cafe in my house. Um, Amazing. I think it started with an espresso machine and it was built from there. It's so awesome. Well, I'm a little sleepy and uh, <laughs> annoyed, so I'm excited. There is espresso. Hooray! <laughs> now, are there already people here for the show? There are some folks inside already. Oh my gosh. Well, they're very again. excited. Aubrey, why don't you go first? All right. Thank you, everyone. Welcome to Dear Queer. Oh, yes. Right after you. Thank you very much. <gasps> Yay! Ooh. Oh, who's in here? <laughs> Our incredible venue. Oh, my goodness. Such a studious brandy. Hello. Hello, yeah. our friends. How are you doing? In here, is everybody made an espresso? Oh, it looks so comfortable. <laughs> so happy. Josh and Brandy, how are you doing? So far, so good. Oh, so excited. Amazing. I'm so excited about this. I can't even tell you all what a wonderful, uh, yes, this is a Southern Hemisphere. What a wonderful time. I may have had a bit gonna... too much espresso. <laughs> you're just okay. supporting your local queer cafe and by local i mean on xanadu yeah absolutely 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 um this is gonna be a really fun time i'm gonna go um get ready in the uh, green room over here get my outfit on while everybody takes their seats all right um and then i think it's time to do to do the show don't right. you think aubrey yes are we who's starting uh i think the double clicks are starting okay all right. Yeah. Aubrey, do you want to come in here? We can have our little powwow that we traditionally do before the show. I went left. So, so it'll be double clicks and then Molly. And then Molly and then the double clicks. I love it. I went <laughs> the other way. Oh, okay. But oh, but if you want to, if you want to kind of zone cool. out in there, I already changed. So I'll come in there and we can have our little meditation. Great. Isn't um, calming. Yeah. It's very calming. Love it when you've had too much espresso and then you need somewhere to fall asleep <laughs> your queer has it all <laughs> goodness it's a beautiful place okay all oh, right laser you look incredible I'm okay are you, are you do you need to change for the show or anything i'm sorry i had my fall clothes on it's okay if you don't need to change i was just gonna I'm, wear my suit i'll wear my suit now i um i <laughs> You look beautiful. Thank you. I thought so. Great. Okay. So I did. Um, we I did ask uh for requests for this show. Good. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, say we should play those. All right. Let's play the ones that everybody requested. Okay. Um, I'll start. Um, now I do have something to tell you, Aubrey, which is, um, that I can't play the guitar right now because I just had top surgery. Isn't that awesome? It's fantastic. I'm so excited. When you did tell me that we were doing this show, I was like, Lizzie, you're not going to be able to play an instrument. But do you have a solution? I do, which is that I'm going to play uh, along with some uh, some tracks. And then I thought maybe you, Aubrey, me. would play the cello that we preset here at Dear Queer. Perfect. Um, oh, sorry. Yes, you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh, oh, hold on. Hold on. I'll do it the other way. Uh, okay. There we go. Now we're, okay. now we're a team. All right. And uh, yeah. Okay. But before we start, let's get onto the stage. Okay. And before we start the show, let's ask. Uh, oh, look, everybody's clapping for us to come out here. <laughs> Yay. It's a double click. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Jules, do you, uh, could we ask you to just say a little bit of something about the cause that we're doing the show for? Um, 
uh, it is uh, it, what, what it's called and why you wanted us to, uh, to feature that cause. Absolutely. Um, Ingersoll Gender Center was founded in 1977 here in Seattle, and it's one of the oldest organizations by and for transgender and gender nonconforming communities in the U.S. Um, and it's a great organization that supports trans and gender diverse folks here in Seattle and beyond. They have amazing resources and videos um, for people who are transitioning, looking for a job, um, or if you're just questioning your gender. Um, and at the onset of the pandemic, they started uh, focusing their efforts to help um, trans folks during uh, the pandemic just to survive. Um, so this fund that you're donating to um, is to help trans and gender nonconforming people um, like fund their basic needs, their rent, their food, things that they need to survive. Um, so it's a great cause. Thanks for donating, everybody. Yay, thank you. We have a bunch of people already donating in the chat. I know that Daniel is uh, is adding up the donations. Daniel, maybe you can give us a current total if you are doing it. I, we we, we, we kind of sprung this job on him, but uh, regardless of whatever the total is or if you have it current right now, we thank you so much, everybody who is donating. Um, mm -hmm. It's so awesome. All right, Aubrey, I am going to uh, perform some music if you would like to join me here on the stage. Um, I am on the stage. You are on the stage. Excellent. Um, and then uh, it's going to be just a blast. Yay. Here we go. Presenting now the double clicks. I'm going to stop everybody's video except mine. Oh, not yours. Oops. <laughs> I ruined this already. All right, it's okay. Everything's gonna be fine. No, this is okay. the first time we're doing this, everyone. Thank you for your patience with us. And I'm okay. Okay, here we go. All righty. This song was requested, and um, I'm gonna play it now. This is a song that we uh, uh, rewrote recently because of the current times, um, and it is a song about the, the world we live in and how we need to stay inside. Um, and that's, uh, it's good. It's good to, to, to stay inside when, uh, when it's good for the world. Now let's see, let's make sure that I have the right lyrics. Aubrey, yes. give us a tour of Dear Queer. Okay, everyone, we have flags. We have merch. My favorite part of this is the merch that is, uh, has been created by Jules for everyone. All right. Uh, we have another one of my favorite things is this fax machine. I'm just going to send a fax real fast. Oh, no, I can't. I'm sorry. I'm looking at clothes. Woo. I like this outfit, that outfit. All right. Oh, well, and the fax machine has a really great fax with a, a frog illustration on it. All right. I'm ready, Aubrey. Okay. Thank goodness. <laughs> okay. We are now beginning the concert and don't be shocked everybody. We do have the opportunity to see me in real life singing to you. So I'm gonna do that as well. All right, are you ready? We're ready. All right, here I go. Time for me to sing. Can you hear it? I have to start singing at the beginning. Here we go. <laughs> Aha! <laughs> They've taken away certain things like live shows and meat space meetings and eggs and paper at the grocery store. Because the lockdown started in my city and though the sunshine sure is pretty, it's more responsible to stay indoors. I'm giving up on wearing pants. I'm taking photos of my plants and it's not a choice, but I'm growing out my hair. I'm learning skills, I'm taking naps, I'm lifting weights, I filed my tax, and sometimes I just sit here and despair. But I've got cats, and I've got Netflix, I've got games, and I've got snack mix, and I am gonna stay indoors for four to eight weeks or more. There's no difference between day and night. I canceled my upcoming flights and gigs and work and everything. But as a consolation prize for never seeing sunny skies, they put out a new Animal Crossing. Relevant. 
There's lots of crafts I'm going to make, board games I'll play and stuff. I'll bake and old stacks of books I thought I'd never read. I'm concerned about family and friends, but if this is how the world it ends, at least we're playing online D&D. And I've got caps, and I've got Netflix, I've got games, <laughs> and I've got pasta sauce, and I am going to stay indoors for four to eight weeks or more. All right, Aubrey, time to play the cat keyboard. And I'm gonna stay indoors for four to eight weeks or more. I wash my hands like a protector, cause I don't want to be a disease vector. And I am gonna stay indoors for four to eight months or more. Blazer. That was amazing. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. <laughs> I love the applause in Animal Crossing. It makes me feel very loved. So good. All right. Thank you so much, everybody. Okay. We did it. All right. Now it's time for you to sing a song, Aubrey. Could you sing us a song? My turn. I gotta get my cello out. Here we go. Okay, cool. And pick an angle. This is my angle. That's Aubrey. Okay, I need to get out of here. Okay, I'll go this way. I'm gonna go sit down. Okay, bye. Bye. Cool. Yes. So like Lizzie said, we're doing requests and this is the song, uh, another song that was requested. But since Laser is not playing guitar, I will play it on the cello. Okay, great. I can do this. Hi, <laughs> it's me, Aubrey from the Double Clicks. Uh, this is this song we just put out a new music video for uh, uh, because we filmed it in Animal Crossing. <laughs> we filmed it. Uh, it was a lot of fun. I got to uh, try out editing a music video and I had a really, really good time. We oh. Yay! Yay, Aubrey! Oh, That's me. I put my lyrics backwards because I'm fun. All right, we're going to have a good time. All right, so this is this is called Dimetrodon. When I wake up on the wrong side of the planet and the creamer for my coffee has gone bad and the people on the streets should really can it cause I don't think they would like me when I'm mad down at the bottom I have a secret trick it's a thing to keep me up bring me up when I am low it is simple, it's easy, and it's real quick. And it went extinct 200 million years ago. Dimetrodon. They ate sharks and were 10 feet long. Dimetrodon. It's a thought that I can count on. When my darkest thoughts have got a hold on me, I close my eyes and I remember all their giant teeth to shake off all the problems I have piled on. I picture the sailback giants of Dimetrodon. I am walking in a mall or in an airport. And I'm filling up with loneliness and fear. Like I'm not really a member of this species. And I don't think I am special, I'm just weird. When I am feeling this, one thing can make me smile. There are other folks who never quite fit in. They're kind of mammals, but they look like reptiles. And I bet that difference never bothered them. Dimetrodon, they ate sharks and were 10 feet long. Dimetrodon, it's a thought that I can count on. 
kind yeah, that's so good you did such a good job this has been a fun experience uh laser has let me play so many of the songs i normally sing in the last few live streams and uh you're being very kind about it i love you're it. doing so good i love it it's very it's a fun opportunity oh my goodness thank you everybody you're all the best Yay. oh my goodness you're the best out of <laughs> I love that they're singing a lot. Yes. Audience, I don't know if you can unmute yourself, but if you want to, you can um, unmute yourself. I know you can't, you can't like actually sing along. Give us a what's up. Hey. What's up? hey. <laughs> We're having so much fun. Yay. Hey. Uh, awesome. I'm going to sing a song now. Uh, what's that? Laser's turn my turn this is a song um that was requested i'm really glad it was requested because i do not uh play it very much um and it's uh and it's just a song about uh how saying no is okay and i'm very excited about that so um, let's see if i can uh if i can show you what saying no looks like oh yes yeah. like it, it looks like that oh yeah okay everybody say it with me everybody no no Okay, they muted themselves again, but that's okay. Uh, everybody again, everybody say, here we go. No, no, no. no. yay, good job. Well, I guess they didn't, if you don't want to say no, that's also fine. <laughs> All right, uh, this is a song called uh, um, uh, I Don't Wanna, and it is a good song. I'm gonna just do that and do this, and let's have a party yep that's how it starts i have to sing it that's part of part of the uh part of the song is me singing it you'll enjoy it that part very much i promise here we go you know a place where the acrobats swing but loud dance parties make my ears ring there's nothing wrong if that's your thing i just don't wanna it makes me feel bad to visit the zoo i don't need a conversation about you too that doesn't mean that i hate you i just don't wanna i don't wanna no 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 i don't wanna no 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 you like donuts so much that you'll wait in line but i don't need to go and that is fine i have so many feelings and they're just mine i don't wanna don't you wanna choose the things that bring you joy don't you wanna ignore other stuff within a reason don't you wanna no isn't negative Selective, don't you wanna? No, 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 Yay! Excellent nose, everybody. <laughs> Thank you. That was amazing. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. No, no, no. Yes, no. yes, yes. Yay, yay, yay. Awesome. Well, let's just do one more song, Aubrey. Do you want to, um, how about I'll, I'll play one more song, one and, more then, song. and then we'll have Molly, uh, Molly come up. Yes. 
Yes, that sounds great. Do you think you could do an interpretive dance while I play this one, Aubrey? I will try my best. I mean, I, you could do it in Animal Crossing. I'll, I'll give you some space. Okay, I'll be, okay, we'll make the stage view wider and then I'll have, yes, great. Yep, I'm ready. Let's do it. You're not the right shape and you're not the right size. You don't get along with others, but you need to realize that the actors in the movies are not what you're supposed to be. You are good the way you are, cause you are a human that's best you see. We've all been looking for role models and turned our eyes to Hollywood, but that's not where to find them. Look to yourself, yes, that is good, it's okay. Velociraptor, don't be sad. Velociraptor, cause you're the size of a turkey, not a lion. Can't turn a knob and don't have friends to rely on. The movies have created an unattainable expectation. The raptors in those films were a fictional creation. Don't judge yourself too hard, Velociraptor. You are good the way you are, Velociraptor. Aubrey, you're amazing. <laughs> Rawr, Velociraptor! Oh my gosh! Rawr, Velociraptor! Yay! Everybody was so ready! Rawr! Yay! Rawr! Excellent roaring audience. Okay, excellent. All right. Well, now we want to just make a quick uh, plug to remember to please donate. Uh, to the link in the description. Uh, and it's bit.ly slash dear queer donate, D E R, D no, D E A R, queer donate. And um, with that, we're going to bring up our friend and yours, the incredible songwriter, Molly Lewis. Yay! Who is an uh, Unmute the mic. Yay! Put away the wand that helps me change outfits. Goodbye. Hi, everybody. Yay! Yay! Um, this uh, Animal Crossing was such a, a good setting for this fundraiser because it is a place about being kind to your friends and finding the best version of yourself. Uh, and this song is not about that. Um, it is a song about uh, avoiding confrontation, particularly when you are playing as uh, James Bond in uh, the 007 Goldeneye for the Xbox 360. Uh, let me just check the lyrics on my phone real quick. Uh, uh, and so uh, this song is called Chop Chop. And it goes like, where's my face? There it is. This may, oh, I don't know if you can see uh, bits of my ukulele are disappearing. Uh oh, oh dear. Bear with me for one. Just That's okay. One. You're falling into the ocean. I'm, f I'm just <laughs> on a tropical vacation. Parts of my ukulele are already on vacation. Uh, chop, chop. Here it goes. I'm tasked with your assassination, but I don't like confrontation. I would much prefer a quiet hit and run. But at combat, I am cruddy, and stabbing's much too bloody, and it isn't sportsmanlike to use a gun. Swords are really not my style. Poison capsules take a while, but the interaction's what I mostly dread. But when my hand is at the ready, and my arm is strong and steady, I can chop you in your butt until you're dead. And I'm like, chop, chop, and the henchmen hit the floor when I go, chop, chop, they won't be henching anymore. It doesn't look the best, but it moves me on my quest. Don't act like you're not impressed. Uh, it's okay to act like you're not impressed. You're under orders, and I get that, but I'm not so great at chit chat. It's not personal, you're stationed in my way. I guess I could try to seduce you, but it's not what I am used to, and sexy spies are totally cliche. I'm not troubled by the killing, though I find I'm less than willing to avail myself of anybody's gaze. I'm not a brute, I'm not a terrorist, I'm just easily embarrassed, and gunfire only adds to my malaise. So I go chop chop, and the bad guys hit the ground when I go 
chop, chop, and they make the weirdest sound. It's one part yodel, two parts scream. Yet your partner doesn't seem to notice that you took one for the team. So I'm all chop, chop, they can't see me when I squat. When I'm like chop, chop, might sound sexy, but it's not. There's no technique or grace when I'm chopping your third base. I just don't want to look you in the face. Everybody now, chop, chop, Hey-oh! One more time, chop, chop, Hey-oh! It isn't so unkind. It's just what I've been assigned. It's a job I can really get behind. Yay! That's awesome! <laughs> yay, yay, yay. Yay! I think that's the other yeah. thing that's fun about Animal Crossing is there's no combat, so you can't chop anybody in the butt. Mm-mm. You can only, you can aggress on people, I guess, with uh, bug nets. You can hit them with bug nets. But it's uh, very gentle and it doesn't hurt. Yeah, it wouldn't, even if you were James Bond, that wouldn't kill anybody. Also, your butt looks great in Animal Crossing. I don't know if you've noticed. People's butts are great. They have good butts. They, they're, they're kind of a toddler shape, so I try not to think about in those terms i suppose but you we, yeah you're a dummy thick you know you got a dummy thick physique for sure yeah i think is that is that the phrase the kids are saying these days dummy thick that's what uh, i have never heard it but you would know would i yes I, indeed i am the kids these days um uh the southern hemisphere autumnal setting of the uh I wish that I, I had enough physicality in person to just do this for an entire show. I don't have the stamina. <laughs> <laughs> um, but the autumnal setting reminded me um, of how much I miss the autumn. Uh, and my favorite marker of the official start of fall season, which is apparently now in August, is the beginning and end of pumpkin spice season at the Starbuckses. Uh, and I get so sad about the controlled planned obsolescence of the marketplace that I wrote a whole musical around it. Uh, this song is from that musical is called the Pumpkin Spice Lament. Rest in peace, Pumpkin Spice. Another month of your company sure would have been nice. But you've gone underground and eggnogs come around again. Let me give myself a sad emote for this. I'm sad about Pumpkin Spice. It seems that everybody knows no. Seems that everybody knows that this is just the way that November goes. I think it's rather rude. Pumpkin's a Thanksgiving food. Why can't they coexist? And why can't the seasons overlap? Pumpkin, peppermint, and nog could be the three wise men of flavors. So everybody wins, and I get an extra month to savor. Normal folks don't think twice, but the time we had together, it just won't suffice. And there is no excuse. It's not like there's real pumpkin juice. Why must you go away? Starbucks understand after Halloween is over I can tell your star is dimming and I have to just accept that you're the McRib but for women and non-binary folks I I wrote the song in 2015 I knew a lot less than about gender scarcity might be what makes you taste so sweet but i have to face the facts you taste like scented candle wax blend obsolescence artificial scarcity you remember when that was fun <laughs> And actually, the story time, uh, Daniel Neruda, uh, who has been uh, tallying uh, the donations on our behalf, 
uh, at a show at our uh, Double Clicks and Molly Clicks uh, tour stop in New York, they gave me two boxes of Trader Joe's fig bars that were pumpkin spice flavored. Oh and my it was gosh. my, it saved my life later in the airport and I remain in internal gratitude for not only ascertaining my brand, but ascertaining uh, that I would forget to feed myself. So thank you, Dan. You must be happy about that. You might, you could change your emote to be excited. I, I'm just so hungry. Oh. <laughs> I'm back. Yay! <laughs> Yay! Just singing about space. Um, so uh, this next song is a cover, uh, but I've been thinking about it a lot. Uh, it's by a songwriter named Lobby Seafray. Uh, and to show uh, the due amount of respect, I'm going to get into my formal attire about this one. Yes. yes. Oh. Uh, do I, which of you don't want to play this on, fam? Uh, let's go with the big one. Choices. I know. It is. It has been overwhelming to be surrounded by all of my ukuleles at once. They're all competing for my attention. Um, but this song is. Uh, it was written in like 1974, I want to say. Uh, but in 2020, it still works, which is a. Uh, it's still a big mood. Uh, it's called "Bless the Telephone." Uh, what is the appropriate? Uh, I'm gonna give myself a pensive emote about this. It's nice to hear your voice again I've waited all day long Even wrote a song for you It's strange the way you make me feel In just a word or two I'd like to do the same for you Should I change keys? I probably should change keys It's not my key it's nice to hear it's nice to hear you say hello and how are things with you i love you but very soon it's time to go an office job to do while i'm here writing songs for you Strange how a phone call can change your day Take you away, away from the feeling of being alone Bless the telephone It's nice to hear you say my name Not very fast or slow just soft and low, the same as when you tell me how you feel. I feel the same way too. I'm very much in love with you. I'm very much in love with you. Yay! Yay! What key was I supposed to play that in? I'll figure that out after the show. <laughs> e sharp. That's always uh, C sharp. It's nice to hear your voice. You're right. It is. <laughs> Bless the telephone. Um, okay. Uh, this is another uh, cover, but I am going to need uh, the assistance of the double clicks for this one, please. Hi. Um, I have, this is actually maybe the most appropriate outfit I had, so I'm glad that I put it on. Um, this is, are we fans of the musical theater in the chat? Um, I would hope so. You're experiencing some musical theater right about now. Um, this is from a little known uh, piece called Hamilton and American Musical. There's a colon in there. I think between American and musical. <laughs> um, who knows? Uh, but uh, the double clicks are going to help me. Uh, this song is sung by Angelica Schuyler, who is the oldest of the Schuyler sisters. Uh, the in-law family. Of, Ale of Alexander Hamilton. I don't know what else you need to know. Uh, Lynn Manuel would be happy to tell you about it if you have questions about Hamilton. Uh, don't don't bring those at me. The song is called Satisfied. Uh, gonna be thinking there. A toast to the groom, to the bride, from your sister is always by your side to your union and the hope
that you provide May you always be satisfied Rewind, rewind Rewind I remember that night, I just might regret that night for the rest of my days I remember those soldier boys tripping over themselves to win our praise I remember that dream like candlelight, like a dream that you can't quite place But Alexander, I'll never forget the first time I saw your face I have never been the same Intelligent eyes and a hunger pang frame And when you said hi, I forgot my damn name Set my heart aflame, every part aflame This is not a game you strike me as a woman who has never been satisfied. I'm sure I don't know what you mean. You forget yourself. You like me. I'm never satisfied. Is that right? I've never been satisfied. My name is Angelica Schuyler. Alexander Hamilton. Where's your family from? Not important. There's a million things I haven't done, but just you wait, just you wait. So, 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 so this is what it feels like to match with, with someone at your level. What the hell is the catch? It's the feeling of freedom, of seeing the light. It's Ben Franklin with the key in the kite. You see that, right? The conversation lasted two minutes, maybe three minutes. Everything we said in total agreement. It's a dream and it's a bit of a dance, a bit of a posture. It's a bit of a stance. He's a bit of a flirt, but I'm going to give it a chance. I asked about his family. Did you see his answer? His hands started fidgeting. He looked askance. He's penniless. He's fine by the seat of his pants. Man, some boy, does he know it? Peach fuzz that he can't even grow it. I want to take him far away from this place that I turn and see my sister's face. And she's bad. And I know she is bad. And her eyes are just bad. And I realized three fundamental truths at the exact same time. Number one. I'm a girl in a world in which my only job is to marry rich. My father has no son, so I'm the one who has to social climb for one. So I'm the oldest and the wittiest and the gossip in New York City is insidious. And Alexander is penniless. Oops, that doesn't mean I want him any less. Elizabeth Schuyler, it's a pleasure to meet you. Schuyler? My sister. I got lost. I messed up, I'm sorry. No, number, number two? Number two! Number two! He's after me because I'm a Skylar sister that elevates a status. I'd have to be naive to set that aside. Maybe that is why I introduced him to Eliza. Now that's his bride. Nice going, Angelica. He was right. You will never be satisfied. Thank you for all your service. If it takes fighting a war for us to meet, it will have been worth it. I'll leave you to it. Number three, I know my sister like I know my own mind. You will never find anyone as trusting or as kind. If I tell him that I love him, she'd be silently resigned. He'd be mine. She would say I'm fine. She'd be lying. But when I fantasize at night, it's Alexander's eyes. As I romanticize what might have been if I hadn't sized him up so quickly. At least my dear Eliza's his wife. At least I keep his eyes in my life. To the groom! To the groom! To the bride! <laughs> From your sister, who is always by your side. To your union, and the hope that you provide. one part no you're honestly <laughs> this is in keeping with the tradition of getting cues from the audience as to what i'm supposed to say next in my own song is completely on brand what's happening <laughs> yay and yeah. now a word 
from uh, the the cause, the the cause which uh, we are championing today. Yes. Oh yes, yes, yes. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Uh, please um, hit that link, which Crow Gould is doing an incredible, incredible job of sharing. Uh, Bitly dot dear queer donate and help us raise funds for the incredible Ingersoll Gender Center Trans and Gender Diverse Emergency Community Aid Fund. Um, I think we have been doing a really good job of donating. There was over $200 raised um, before, Yikes, wow. yeah, earlier, um, I believe. That's amazing. Over, uh, 165 earlier, and then um, I threw in 50 before we started. So that's that's over 200, but I don't know where we are now. Um, where are we? I don't know because Daniel it, I was building a, a, a piece of software or something during this concert <laughs> because uh, Daniel is amazing. Um, but yay, thank you so much everybody for donating. Um, should we should we do a little double click set and then um, do a little Molly set? Does that sound like a 52010 everybody? Woo! Oh my goodness, everybody's getting changed. So it's time to, uh, get to see time you. to get changed, I guess. Aubrey put on her most formal look. A hot dog <laughs> which is a hot dog all right i'll get into more of a no aubrey never ever change who you oh my gosh that's a really good look though it seems like something i would wear to a real double click show so I yeah don't... it really does 520 that's amazing everybody that's so great oh i love everybody put on some... also i think the ingersoll gender center is in chat could that be possible is it Ooh. oh wow and they say over a thousand raised so far. Oh, cool! I'm so happy they're here. That's amazing. They they know how much money we're raising too, which is incredible. <laughs> That's uh, hi. Thank you for doing your incredible work. Awesome. Welcome to the Dear Queer. Uh, Jewel, say hi. Yeah. Hi, Ingersoll Gender Center. I made a queer bookshop, and there's a concert in it in Animal Crossing. <laughs> These are wild times. <laughs> Yeah, but thanks so much for being here. We love your work. Hello from a bunch of uh, queer people and allies. Um, we are very happy that you exist. Uh, let's see here. Uh, now it is time for the double clicks to do more music. And I am going to do this song, which is about loving stuff. Hooray! It was requested so much in the poll that there were actually two different requests for it. So. <laughs> Um, uh oh, but did I in fact have it in my iTunes? That's the main question. Uh, no, we're going to do a different one. Wait, first, um, we're going to do a song about queer stuff. Yeah. Uh, I actually haven't performed this song, uh, recently, but I'm so excited to perform it. Um, Aubrey, do you want me to put video on you while you do your dance or do you want to do a dance in, um, uh, in okay. I yeah. talked about Dance and Animal Crossing. It's a new skill I'm learning. It's yeah, you're doing a great job at it. So um, this is a song about um, basically gender euphoria and coming out, and it is called I'm Winning. And it uh, is dedicated to my NBs in the crowd, in the room, uh, to everybody who is learning about being themselves and the pronouns and the names that um, fit uh, them. And uh, it is called I'm Winning, and it goes... Is my thing shared? Yes, you're, you're sharing computer sound. Awesome, it goes like this. Uh, here we go. I was jumping on shells. I was falling down holes. There was the open world out there, but I was stuck inside scroll. I could have been winning at checkers. But I was losing at chess and telling myself in the puzzle and I unlocked the treasure chest and now I'm winning. I'm winning. I am playing the right game. Find me. I'm winning. Stuck. 
your heart. Pick up the piece and roll the dice. <laughs> you can help a person have a better life. And maybe it's new, and maybe it's hard. But can't you try to care? Cause players like me and all my friends have always been there. I'm winning. Yay! I'm winning. <laughs> I am playing the right game. Finally. Great dance, Aubrey. I'm winning. I'm winning. I am using the right name. Finally. I'm winning. Yay! I can't move my arms because I am. I threw them up in the air, but I can't. Yay! Thank you, everybody. I actually Yay. drew a T Rex on my arm, so I would remember not to throw my hands up in the air. <laughs> Thank you, T Rex. Thank you, T Rexes, for saving yes. us from ourselves. Got a big little arms. Just they got a cute little arms. Thank you, everybody. Great dancing, Aubrey. Oh, thank you. I'm really working on it. It's hilarious. <laughs> I'm also controlling the camera, so it's the... Uh, it's I know, you're doing a really good job. I'm very impressed. All right, let's do another song, Aubrey. Okay, another song. Why, right. don't you, why don't you play us one? Excellent. This was also a request. It is a song about Wonder Woman. I will be playing it on my cello. Hello, cello. All right, I'll be standing right next to the cello. Great. And now I am a cellist. Oh, Hello. that's a very good angle. Oh, thank you. And... I will be here. I'm going to laugh first. Ha ha ha. And then I'm so happy. There I go. Excellent. All right. And I also have a camera. Hello again. Oh my goodness. Thank you everyone so much in the chat. You're all amazing and so generous. And we're so ex I'm just having the best time. This is one of my favorite shows I've ever done. Ah, okay. Yes. Wonder is the name of the song. And the name of the song is Wonder, and I have lyrics because I know better than trying to think that I know this song from memory. Yeah, I got it. Great. <laughs> Men in power 
aren't who you care about. The city's pain stops when you bring the truth out. Though your sisters will tell you mankind can't be saved, you know that inside the weak can be brave. And you're not a quitter, you still believe the truth's in your lasso, your heart's on your sleeve. And when we're drowning in darkness, you'll save us all from going under and we'll watch you in wonder when they send you away you know we'll never forget and you'll hover above in your invisible jet when they finally want you they'll call you back down Pull on your hot pants and put on your crown. Cause you're not a quitter, you still believe the truth's in your lasso. Your heart's on your sleeve and when we're drowning in darkness, you'll save us all from going under. And we'll watch you in wonder. so much for singing along. Oh, we have the best in studio audience anyone yay yeah. yay it's getting the the encouragement reaction to meet up with the lyrics it's a well, fine art it is <laughs> a great job oh my goodness amazing uh, amazing good Aubrey you're so good thank you Thank oh you, Laser. You wrote such a good song. Oh, thank you. I'm oh, doing so good. All right, I'm gonna do some more songs. We're this show is gonna go till 4:30. I just want everybody to know that. So make sure you have your tea. Actually, real quick, I'm gonna go grab myself a cat, I, an espresso. Ha ha. <laughs> Wait, Laser, where'd you go? I went to get an espresso. We're going going to the espresso. Hey. All right. Now everybody, make sure to change into your robot outfit. Um, real quick. <laughs> uh, amazing. Oh, yes. Everyone looks great. I'm going to be wearing my king outfit for this next song. All right. I'll get out of Jules's way so they can sit down. I'll sit over here. Great. Let's okay. See. Oh, sorry. I got to turn off your camera. Uh, turn on my camera. <laughs> It's okay, Brandy, you look amazing. You could be cosplaying as either Bob or Doug and we'd believe you. Yay. Or someone from the Matrix. It's me, I'm taking my glasses off. It's happening. Oh, it's happening, it's getting real. It's going down. I'm allowed, I'm not really supposed to play my ukulele, but I'm like gonna like rest it not on my chest. And, um, yeah, we might even go past 4 30. Um, and then um, and then I won't strum it and it'll be okay. This is a song um, that we wrote about um, uh, not letting uh, emails you receive about political causes uh, get, change the way you feel. <laughs> uh, it's very specific. Doesn't work, but uh, we tried. Here we go. I let things bother me that I shouldn't let bother me, and I feel sorry like I should be stronger. I know I shouldn't listen to the insults or the heckles, but I listen and they all stick with me longer. 
My friend Michael Bain told me this is because we're evolved to remember the things that endanger us. If I was an animal searching for food, I would always be vigilant for things that are dangerous. So if I'm in real life or reading the comments, I'll always remember those who cross the line. Not all the wonderful women and children who tell us we've helped them by speaking our minds. If it is negative, I'll memorize it fast cause I am sensitive and not just a badass. I am sensitive. I am a badass. I act like I'm cocky. I have a persona cause I don't wanna seem like I'm open for feedback. But that's just because I internalize everything that I should redact. I don't know if it's clear that that's just who I have to be. I love my friends. I love them so much more than me. It feels like they all know just who to me. I act like I'm cocky. Did I already say that? I don't remember. Yes, I did. And then now I say, Aubrey, you did say you act like you're cocky. Oh, no. Because I said feedback and then redact. Everyone talks to me. You. <laughs> mm. uh, no, I want to say, let's start a band that just yells at the man and never has a Facebook page and never does signings. I'm so scared about emails from moderate straight cis white males that I stop myself whining when I <laughs> feel like I'm whining. Hold on. Don't tell me to calm down. Don't tell me it will pass. Because I'm not just sensitive. I am a bad sensitive. I am a badass. And if you haven't yet realized that we are political, you haven't listened, so we will start yelling. I often want to burn the world. Sometimes I'm an anarchist and sometimes I'm a pacifist. I just want us all to love each other and listen when somebody tells you they're hurting. I want us to maximize joy and equality instead of what we are earning. I'm a survivor, and if you're a survivor too, we want you to know both of us believe you. You have the strength, and though all of your scars may last, Everybody sing it. I am sensitive. I am a badass again. I am sensitive. I am a badass. I am sensitive. I am a badass. Yay. Yay! Thanks for Amazing. remembering the lyrics, Josh and Flail Squared. Bye.
love Monday. You were all the best. Thank you. That's exactly what the next lyric was. <laughs> it was. And also now all I have to start a band with all those people. Great. Let's do it. All right. Uh, amazing. I'm playing the cat keyboard. I'm running over it. Meow, 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 meow. All right. Uh, okay. Well, I'm going to follow that somehow. <laughs> you can do it, Aubrey. Got my cello. Ha ha. Yes. I'm going to get out my cello. And one more thing I'm going to do is pose. Boo. Yeah. All right. Hold that. Excellent. So this song. You do the whole song on one foot. It's very impressive. Okay. Yep. Watch me. Excellent. This is a song uh, off our last album, our latest album, the latest and greatest. It is a song about leaving uh, social media for your own mental health in the character of Millie Rosa Jane. It's a fictional character uh, Laser and I have made up. And so it's a little bit of a sea shanty. Here we go. I knew a girl who was once like you and me, but then she found the ocean and now she is free. Now she is right where she wanted to be. There's no tell towers on the open sea. Oh, Millie Rosa Jane, Millie Rosa Jane, did it make you happy to sail far away? Teach us what you learned, we'll be waiting for the day of the return of sweet Millie Rosa Jane. Millie told us all that she wanted to get out. The internet had left her with a time freedom drought. No number of tweets stack up to the amount of joy you receive when you delete your account. Oh, Millie Rosa Jane, Millie Rosa Jane. You said that the ocean could liberate from pain. Has all of your freedom opened up your brain? What have you made, sweet Millie Rosa Jane? Did she read and relax? Did she live like a queen? Did she paint the best pictures the world had ever seen? I guess we'll never know, because we haven't heard a thing since the day that she left in 2016. The call of the ocean is ever seductive. Away from the web, you can be so productive, but not knowing how to sail may make it destructive. At least we agree your choice was instructive. Oh, Millie Rosa Jane, Millie Rosa Jane, you could have turned off your laptop and boarded a plane. You could have left, set your phone to the mode of airplane, then you'd still be. Miss Millie Rosa Jane, you'd still be alive. Miss Millie Rosa Jane, you'd still be alive. Sweet Millie Rosa Jane. <laughs> Yay! I did it all. Really good. Thank you. <laughs> oh my goodness. You did it. Thank you. Oh my goodness. Y'all are the best. Thanks for singing along. I love that song so much. Oh my goodness. It's my turn. Time for a laser. All right, this is gonna be the last double click song and then it's gonna be back to Molly Lewis. Oh. Yes, yes. Uh. <laughs> uh. I have nothing to wear. Oh, oh no, Molly, what will you wear? Where did Laser go? There's only a sneaky person here. Oh, I love everybody. It's me, Laser. I'm so sneaky. Um, what am I gonna wear? Oh, I guess it's time to rock, probably. Oh yeah, it's time to rock, Laser. Okay, here I go. It's time to rock. And I gotta stand somewhere where you can dance. Oh, okay. I'm dancing. I'm just trying to get out of the way so you can dance. I will. And uh, here we go. Yes. Woo. 
breakfast, love, donating to the Ingersoll Jenner Center. Um, uh, Becca in the chat asked if Millie died. No, she didn't die. She just disappeared. And we didn't know that where she went. And so we assumed that she died. If you watch the video, it's very clear she's still alive. Um, anyway, okay. Here we go. Uh, that just in case any children are watching. Yes, I do. Um, uh, okay, here we go. This is a song about breakfast. One, two, pressing play. Aubrey, let me know how the volume is. Okay. Here we go. Do it louder. Just a little bit. Yeah. Perfect. Here we go. I like to eat toast with jam. You like to eat eggs and ham. And if you're in, we can be friends because I don't have a problem with ham. I like to wear sweaters and shorts too. I like to do just what I want to. And if you don't like what I do with my life, well, that's great because I didn't ask you. This is my jam. This is my jam. This is my toast. This is my knife. And this is my jam. <laughs> this is my jam. This is my jam. This is my song. This is my life. This is my jam. Thank you, audience. I'm going to do this. If you don't want to do this, I'm going to find somebody who wants to do this. I am a person, and you are a person. You should want what you want, long as nobody's hurting. You're not going to tell me the songs I should write, and you're not going to tell me my clothes are too tight. I'm going to love doing all my own stuff, and that love's got to come from inside. This is my jam, everybody. This is my jam. This is my toast, this is my knife, and this is my jam. This is my jam. This is my jam. This is my song, this is my life, and this is my jam. I'd like to be uh, eating breakfast with people that I like, with no one telling me the things they think I should do with my life. And like John Green tells us to imagine others complexly, I won't judge you because what you like has nothing to do with me. I'd like to be eating breakfast with people that I like with no one telling me the things they think I should do with my life. And like John Green tells me to imagine others complexly. I won't judge you because what you like has nothing to do with me, everybody. This is my jam. This is my toast. This is my knife. This is my jam. This is my jam. This is my jam. This is my song. This is my life. This is my jam. Have some jam. <laughs> Yay. Oh, oh, hooray. Thanks, everybody. Yay. Oh, now it's time for Molly Lewis. Bringing back to the stage the incredible Molly Lewis. Oh, pressure. What do I have nothing to wear? Oh, good. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> that is going to have to do. Um, this uh, I'm going to play to tracks, which I've never done before. Oh, Brave New World that has such music in it. Um, this first song... Uh, was written as a joke and then people oops they liked it and so i recorded it uh it's about how masculinity is a prison uh, and it's called johnny dick legs here we go oh yes uh by the oh, way uh, if you uh, brought your children to this double click show uh the swears are starting oh yeah, oh, yeah. There, there's, there's gonna, gonna be, be some, some swears, swears. Uh, okay. are you hearing two of my voice right now i muted you so no not anymore cool I'll um let me go i'm gonna go to the green room uh to prepare okay well, while Ooh. Molly is preparing, we'll just let everybody know that uh, it's a great time to donate to the Ingersoll oh, Center. Yeah. They do incredible what stuff. Is... Everybody's going to go get an espresso. Oh, Randy, I love your new haircut. It's very good. Molly, we can still hear you. Oh, son of a biscuit. <laughs> but it's, I mean, but no, just, it's a great time for if you have a children uh, to leave. Uh, but we may open up the double clicks rooms later to come uh, play with us. So come back. But uh, the swears are in, uh, all educational and you're going to learn a lot. Um, so stick around right. if you like learning. Hmm. Educational swears. Okay, maybe this was a bad idea. Hold Molly's done. I'm Hi. here. There we are. I don't know okay. how to get my track to work, friend. Molly, we believe in you. 
we can just have you muted and then you're not doubled and it's okay. Okay. If you're muted while your track is playing. Oh. Everybody is so cute is the problem, is how cute everybody is. Yes, sounding very good. Yes, yes, yes. I can't hear Molly, but I can hear the track. Yes, it's true. Ah, there's two of me. Yes. I don't know which one to shoot. <laughs> yeah. That brave new world of challenges. That's right. There is a Max. Maximilian the cat keyboard has made an appearance. Yeah, he's on the floor. He's on the floor. <laughs> How's everybody? How's he got? Is Brandy, are you okay? Something hit you? Oh, there, 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 there's Brandy. Ah, oh, much better. Much better. Okay. Okay. How's, How's this? this? Uh, you're, you're doubled. Double. Oh. Son, Son of a beasting. beasting. Hmm. Hmm, I say. How about now? I can't hear you. Oh. Oh, no. The, everything on the Animal Crossing Island is working. I wish that the thing on, on my actual Earth... Can you hear us? I can. And you can hear oh. me? Yep. Yeah, try it this way. Just try it I'm with your... I'm not doubled? You're nope. not doubled right now. Yeah, okay. just do it now. I'm only doubled for me. Cool. All right. Uh, what was I saying? Oh, yes. Jonathan Richard Legs. Here he comes. Swear. Since the sun came up this morning, there's a rumor going round. There's a brand new sheriff who just hobbled into town. He's not an outlaw or a villain, but his reputation sticks. Because where his thighs and calves should go, he's got a pair of dicks. Because he's Johnny, Johnny Dick Legs. You won't like him when he's angry. You won't like him when he's cold. Because he's Johnny, Johnny Dick Legs. And he's come to steal your woman and to pan for all your gold. I'm out of the room still. <laughs> Takes a while to put his chaps on well into the afternoon. So we all just play it cool when he flops into the saloon. But it just takes a pretty gal to put some spring into his walk. I wish that that was figurative, but I'll remind you his legs are cocks. Because he's Johnny, Johnny Dick Legs. You'll have to give him just a minute, folks. He's not quite at his best. I said he's Johnny, Johnny Dick Legs. And he'll rub out all the ne'er-do-wells and ride into the west. He's got dicks for legs. <laughs> it was perfect. It's perfect. Yes, yes, more. Right. <laughs> so worth making it. So worth the technical work. Oh, it's all, it's just stereo dick legs as far as the eye can see. Um, I think, uh, except for one swear in my last song, you can invite everybody else okay, you can great, invite great, great, great. back, unless they are fans of Abraham Lincoln, in which case this <laughs> next song is going to bum them out. Oh, no. Uh, nice, nice, nice. Happy 420, everybody. Yay! Uh, he's got dicks for legs. Uh, let us pray. Uh, so <laughs> this next song is a uh, right bummer, uh, but I wrote it anyway. Uh, it's a miniature mus musical about the assassination of Abraham Lincoln. It's called Our American Cousin. It's not about our American cousin, the play. Anyway, here it goes. My first time in Ford's Theater. Whoa, this is really awesome. Don't know what this play is, but I don't really care. Cause oh my word, I can't believe the president is here. I can't see him, but I know he's sitting up there. When Harper's Weekly runs his picture, I like to keep it, I like to tear it out. But my husband doesn't like it when I do this, says he only has so much patience and I might just wear it out. Now the play has started, but my head is somewhere else. The way he freed the slaves, I think? That's so dreamy. I wonder what his view is like from way up in that box. If I turn in my seat for this way, he might see me. He'll be like, who's that fetching beauty? And I'll wave and be like, hey. 
And I'll run off with him and we'll have tons of babies. And we'll live in a log cabin and I'll stay home and brush his beard. And my husband here can... What was that noise? He's a tyrant and a crook. If you just take a closer look, you could see the lies just dripping from his mouth. He suffocated half the land with his long and bony hand. And he does not give a damn about the South. He robbed us all of house and home, and then he left us all alone. It is obvious the deed that must be done. He can't be trusted with the power And now the clock has struck the hour I act on the behalf of everyone And I'll liberate my country Unseat the despot The old rule will vanish I will turn the page of history We'll get a new start Six Semper Tyrannus! play all the actors stink and the laughs are cheap I've been out all day I just want to eat I just want to sleep it's my second term it's a fragile piece hope it stays around my resolve is firm I have made this bed now I must lie down my nation's come a long way And today our many states may stand united T'was a heavy price we had to pay And I hope our efforts don't go unrequited Time has not been kind we lost thousands of boys, I lost two of my own. North and South combined in an orgy of violence like none we had known. Such a war was fought, brothers fought against brothers on my command. But was it for naught when the slaves are all free? In a more perfect land My first term went by so fast And so far I'm thankful for the years I've had The war is now in the past And this play really isn't that bad Oh my goodness, Molly! Spoilers for the presidential that story, I guess. <laughs> How do I clap solemnly? Uh, <laughs> no, I slow salute. I haven't. Just ketchup clapping. hasn't taught me solemn clapping yet. <laughs> that was amazing. That was. I enjoyed the the puppeteering of the. It's nice not to have to use my hands as I'm singing that. I know. As you, you did a really good that. job. I feel like it's like a, a whole language. It's a real panto. Um, speaking. Okay, so this next one is also uh, kind of about presidents. Not really, though. Almost. Um, it's about an accomplished older lady who uh, got turned down for a job in favor of an incompetent white man as, uh, you know, Taylor's oldest time. Uh, and uh, she she did her job and she didn't get it and then people wouldn't leave her alone. And that made me mad, so I wrote the song. Uh, it's called Pantsuit Sasquatch. Uh, and hopefully the track loads... Thank you for loading. Pantsuit Sasquatch. Carry on with your business. There is nothing to see. You must be pretty desperate if you come out looking for me. You regret how we parted. That is well understood. Now please leave me to sip on my wine and to wander the woods. Didn't I go where you sent me? Didn't I meet your demand? 
hands Didn't I answer your questions? Didn't I shake all your hands? Didn't I do the best I can? Wasn't I better than any man? Wasn't I cool and collected when all of the shit hit the fan? Wasn't I cool? That's one swear. It's the only one in this one. You ask how I am doing. I assure you I'm fine. Just another man helping himself to what's rightfully mine. Did you say I look tired? I'm not tired at all. I was trying to shatter a ceiling where he built a wall. Didn't I check all the boxes? Didn't I follow routine? Didn't I travel the high road? Never was petty or mean. And did I run a clean campaign? Did I inform and entertain? And did I let down my guard cause my rival had half of a brain? Did I let down, didn't I? All my credentials didn't matter. All my service and nobody cares. They tried to purchase the world on a platter. Phoned in some favors and now it is theirs. You know it brings me no joy to see you in this hole Oh, what the man would destroy to maintain his control So goodbye Look out below, I'm going high I know you want your closure Cause the future's unclear I feel no obligation to tell you what you want to hear Would you like me to save you? Would you like me to quit? Or would you prefer it if I taught myself how to knit? Couldn't you mind your own business? Couldn't you just leave me be? You brought this all on yourselves, gang Don't try to pin it on me Couldn't I peacefully retire Into these hills I so admire couldn't I serve up the tea while he sets the whole party on fire? Couldn't I serve? Couldn't I? And when they write this history, I'll take the moral victory. Wasn't I right at the center of all that this country could be? Wasn't I right? Wasn't I? Yay! 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 Uh, yay! There I am, I'm back! Yay! Wonderful. Yeah. It's wonderful. I was crying. I was crying in real life and in the game. If you cry in the game, you cry in real life. That's how Animal Crossing works. True. <laughs> uh... This is, uh, let me queue up the track. Uh, this is my last one. Uh, it is uh, kind of an old song at this point, kind of an old story. Uh, but uh, in 2007, uh, an astronaut went through a really bad breakup with another astronaut, super in public, uh, back when we had slow news days. You remember those times? Um, and uh, as a, uh, I found uh, her uh, sort of attention to detail uh, very inspirational. <laughs> I guess. Uh, and so I wrote a song about her. Uh, this song is called Road Trip. Oh, wait. Should I? No, I don't need to dress like an astronaut. That's patronizing. <laughs> <laughs> I thought he was my partner, less than lovers, but more than friends. He said it wouldn't last, but like the cosmos, I don't think it ends. They say he's going steady with some woman that I don't know. I've never met this person, but I think that I should go and say hello. 
I wish that he'd step back and weigh his options for what they're worth. She may be smart and pretty, oh, but our love has orbited the earth. I will not let her take my place. I'm in a new kind of space race, but I don't tell my parents. And I don't tell my friends I just grab some rubber tubing And I pull on my depends And then I drive It's time for her road trip I printed out these letters That he sent her And stuff like that I've written these directions to her house so we might have a little chat. I'll take this airsoft pistol should she make threats against my life. A wig and pepper spray and this 8 inch Gerber folding knife. I will not let my man pursue her Now she will get what's coming to her But I don't tell my parents And I don't tell my friends I just grab some rubber tubing And I pull on my depends And then I drive It's time for her road trip She's just a captain in the Air Force She's never been in outer space I guess I'll have to go remind her That I'm a goddamn astronaut And she should shut her face through the state border and I'm welcomed by a sign I can feel my heart pounding in my temples and justice will be mine she's nowhere in the airport then I recognize her car I see no reason why I should be nervous I've already come this far I will not let my victim victimize me at this point nothing can surprise me but I don't tell my parents sing along and I don't tell my friends I just grab some rubber tubing and I pull on my depends and then I drive it's time for her road trip take screenshots of all you beautiful people. Yay! Thank you, everyone. Yay! Yay! Oh, my goodness. Amazing. Who's got a total? We've raised fourteen hundred and six dollars. everybody! Oh my gosh, that's amazing! That's really great. Thank you so much for donating. Thank you so much, everybody. That's so cool. Good job, Molly. Uh, oh, Molly, you're muted. Molly is muted. We gotta get Molly back. I'm back. Molly's back. Yay! Yay! Right. Oh, thank you, Ingersoll Jenner Center. You are wonderful. Yay! We and we have Meredith says that uh, Meredith donated fifty dollars the other day. Yay! 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 Hey. Donating! Donating! Donate! Keep donating! Donate early and often. Yes, please. Yes, please. And thank you so much, everybody, for watching um, this amazing stream. Um, 
let's see, Aubrey and uh, Molly and Jules, uh, do we want to get on video um, and just say hi to everybody real quick before we go? First of all, everybody's outfits are incredible. So that's important to remember. Let's go water some flowers. <laughs> um let's see aubrey's video is coming okay and gallery view yay hi everybody yay. hey um i thank you so very much oh and josh is here yay our audience whole members. audience um I, let's I, wave farewell to brandy as they go yes go. Uh, thank you so much everybody for watching this stream this has been an incredible time um and for and please keep donating um let's let's get it up uh to um 1500 oh yes i'm going home because i'm going to open up my gates for anybody who's watching who wants to come visit um because I would love to uh, have you come hang out on my Animal Crossing. I know a lot of people wanted to be in the studio audience, but they were not able to make it because we, uh, well, we couldn't have that many people on the island. We didn't want it to crash. Um, so I'm going to do that right now. Um, Molly Lewis, where can people buy your music and find you? Uh, I mean, they could Google me and uh, Whistler and me will come up. Uh, also, uh, please donate to Feeding America. Uh, yes. That is, uh, and also since we are uh, in an independent bookstore in a game, uh, I would just like to tell people about bookshop.org, uh, which is a network of independent bookstores, um, to just try and not give money to Amazon right now, I guess, is is my directive. Uh, and obviously, the Ingersoll Gen Gender Center does wonderful work in Jules End, my stomping grounds. Um, and But you've already clearly been so generous. Um, so I was just want thanks, everybody, for coming Thank in. Thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, you are the best. Aubrey, where can people find the double clicks? Go to the doubleclicks.com. You are already likely on our YouTube page right now, so you can subscribe. We put out videos. We do live streams sometimes. Uh, it's a lot of going to be a lot of new music. We have a lot of music coming up this year that we're excited to share with you. So please uh, join us everywhere on the internet. The doubleclicks.com. You can sign up for our mailing list, which uh, would be a great way to find out about doubleclicks news all the time because we want to be your internet friend, and it's really nice. Thanks for being here on our channel uh, and raising money for such good oh. stuff. Oh my gosh. Here. Jules, do you have anything that you want to tell people about? Do you want to give one more plug for the Ingersoll Gender Center? If people missed it at the beginning, tell them about the good sure. work they do. Sure, I'd love to. Um, Ingersoll Gender Center was founded in 1977 and uh, it is one of the oldest uh, organizations by and for transgender and gender nonconforming communities in the US. And they offer lots of great resources, whether you're transitioning or questioning your gender or you need to find a job. Uh, they have lots of great videos and resources and they have um, really directed their efforts to helping trans and gender non-conforming folks that may be food or housing insecure in these uh, times of the pandemic. So that's what your money is going towards to help real people like right now who need it. So thanks so much. Yay. Awesome. Well, I have just thrown a dodo code in the chat. I'm very excited for my island to be overwhelmed with love. It's JKXWG, come on over. And we will see you soon. Um, let's look. Let's go back to this beautiful island of cool people hanging out. If you come to my island, you can get a dear queer sweatshirt from my Able Sisters store. And also Kix is here, apparently. So come on over and I'll see you soon. Uh, and I'm going to stop the stream now. Um, uh, love you, love you, love you. You are the very, very best. And goodbye. Your hair looks great. Yeah. <laughs>